All right, so got it welded up. Pretty much all done. I wanted to show you this. It's freaking crazy. You can see how warped that is. Just from the heat from welding. It's crazy. So I'm really concerned uh, <laughs> for fitment. Hopefully it all fits back together. All right, back on the amphibian here. Got the windshield finished up. Uh, still gotta get the glass cut, but later. Um, right now I'm gonna be working on the front, uh, adding some louvers to this radiator and uh, sort of securing down in here. I wanna put a cover in here. This is still kind of weak. So give it some, some rigidity here. Um, and kind of fill it in so the whole front is done. And then I can, uh, I think I'm pretty close to stripping it down and flipping it over and doing the bottom metal, but I wanna get the final components finished up in the front and then we'll uh, keep going. All right, so this is what I end up coming up with here. A uh, bunch of these things. Basically, uh, this part bolts on here and I have some goes right through the radiator and then into the body and holds it and then uh, just some little louvers put in there like that I think I'm going to uh, weld it and then I'm going to trim a little indentation in here just to give it a little more style Okay, there it is. It turned out pretty good. And basically, right here on. So underneath there, there's the little nut inserts. So it was worth doing the little indentations on there. There you go. Go, go home and put the thing on. And okay, so I'm working on the rear trunk lid here, just making some hinges. Uh, this is what I came up with. It's kind of a complicated system because it kind of the way it tucks in here, it uh, it's got to kind of fold up like that. Which uh, yeah, so that's what I came up with. Um, I'm gonna put it back together and see if it actually works. Show you how these work in there. Okay, here we go. And here she is. It's pretty good. I'm gonna have a latch on here somewhere underneath. There's a little bit of flex in it, but it doesn't really. Since there's a solid latch here, I think it'll be super super secure. Okay, so working on the inside here, I'm trying to get some of the controls figured out. Uh, gauge cluster, just had some nut cert fittings in there. And basically what I'm gonna do, just mount it underneath the here, put the bolts down through here. Super simple. Nothing real complicated with that. Um, wasn't initially planning on it, but I ended up pulling the signal switch and headlight switch out of the geo tracker as well, just because it's so much easier if you re reuse it because the plug is here. You know, you get your four ways, everything, and the wiper switch. So basically, what I did is I put a plate on here, put that on there. And then made this little thing. Uh, yeah, and the steering wheel goes on. And pretty simple. Doesn't look too bad. Not as cool as uh, not having it there, but 
you gotta have something to uh, run the controls with. So now I have my turn signals, headlights. Uh, really simplifies it quite a bit. All right, so got this pretty much. Uh, Pretty much as much as I can do at the moment. I gotta start doing the bottom and finish welding everything because stuff has a tendency to move around a little bit when it gets welded. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna start taking it apart. Okay, it's stripped down pretty good. Pretty much got everything out of it. I gotta flip it upside down now. Upside down. Okay, so we've got it upside down. Kind of finished welding a lot of the uh, little points inside here and uh, making the template. The templates for the bottom at the moment. A lot of the internal structure of it. Kind of cool. I see how it's. Uh, a lot of the stuff I had to wait to get it upside down to finish weld some of it. It's a lot easier, so right now I'm cutting out this template, get it marked out, and chop it out, and then do the other side, and then start, uh, start setting them on there. Get this side done. On the other side here, a little bit hard to get this clamp down because you can't reach around here with the bicycle clips on there, so just got to be a little creative. Bottom is on. Uh, I didn't film very much of that, so uh, whatever. I guess you missed some of it, but um, pretty standard metalworking stuff. Um, you know, it took a lot to, to pry this stuff down, uh, but eventually I did get it. Um, so pretty much everything is stack welded. Also made this little piece here, fill in that gap. But uh, this is the point I wanted to get it to. Tack welded. And there's tack welded. And basically what I gotta do now is weld all these seams. <laughs> Could take days, but uh, that's how it goes. Um, I'll start welding on it probably tomorrow. I'm pretty beat today, but yeah, just a little update. All right, I got the bottom of this thing welded up here. It's uh, not the greatest welds, but should hold water. Um, just go over, pretty much done on the bottom anyways. Gotta flip it upside down and do the top. I'm gonna put a drain plug in here. 
because this is a separate compartment in the front and I put a drain plug in the back as well and got those things welded in super good so yeah basically got to flip it upside down now All right, so got it welded up. Welds aren't super great, but got it uh, pretty much all done. I wanted to show you this. It's freaking crazy. This bar was in there between the struts. And uh, you can see how warped that is just from the heat from welding. It's crazy. So, I'm really concerned uh, <laughs> for fitment. I know in here it wasn't that big of a deal, the distance between those two, but it's probably at least a half an inch deformation. So, hopefully it all fits back together. One of the last fabrication things uh, on the body is I got to make some vents here on the side because I got to get air in that engine compartment somehow. And uh, the one thing I'm going to do is do some like louvers here. I think they'll look kind of cool and uh, bring air in and then it can go out the back. So basically just made some cardboard templates. I'm gonna make a piece on the bottom with a hole in it and then I'll weld these things into that. And we'll see how that comes together. Okay, just following up here with this vent. Um, got this part made up, put a hole in the body and so little nut cert fittings. And then make the panels. Weld them in one at a time. There. And the final one. And uh, then I'll come through and uh, kind of clean up these edges, make them a little rounded. All right, here it is, finished welded. Came out pretty good. Really cool. I did the other side too. So now I'm going to uh, try to brush this finish. It's got a few different uh, grits, but basically like a brush finish. And I think that'll do good for uh, giving it a consistent look. Okay, got it uh, pretty much shined up. Finished fabricated, I think. Pretty cool. See those vents? So that's all bare bones. Inside here, the flooring, and you see uh, in the front there how it came together. Not too shabby. 